man makes twenty five to thirty thousand dollars a month. So I'm I'm satisfied with that. For real, what does he do? He's a car sales manager. He's got bank. God forbid, if you broke up now, would you date a man who makes twenty five hundred? Her lifestyle, she can't switch like that. If he had a really good heart and could take care of me and my daughter, but me and my me and my man are not breaking up. So how much you say your ring was? My ring was seven grand. I can't have that around here. This if, is if, if 200. He, if he cheats on you? I will take everything from him. Oh, sh What yeah. if he gave you a prenup? I won't sign it. I'll rip it in front of him. Fellas, there you have it, man. You got to have a prenup, bro. Straight up. If the woman says she's not willing to sign the prenup, you got a dub, bro. It's straight up. That is not a woman you need to take seriously because a woman needs to be able to show you that she can sacrifice. That's a sacrifice for a woman. And if she's not willing to do that, she probably ain't the one for you, my boy. I'm going to keep it real with you because the fact that you want to marry her... That lets me know that you trying to do this for the long haul. This ain't you you in it to win it. You get what I'm saying? When I first met my wife, I told her I'm going to make millions of dollars. I'm going to make a lot of money. We had our first date on uh, September 5th, and then we were engaged December 22nd. In the Jewish community, when you get married, you sign a marital document that basically looks kind of like a prenup uh, called the Ketubah. And one of the things in there is like an actual breakup fee. If the marriage breaks up, then how much money do you owe to your wife? So my father-in-law sits me down one day and he's like, how much money do you want to put in the ketubah? And I was like, I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. When I get divorced, so put $10 million. I don't care. And he looks at me and he starts laughing. He goes, she's not worth $10 million. We'll put a million dollars. And um, I, I frequently remind him that he is a horrible negotiator. Is it always the, the guy owing the girl yes. in that document? Yes. Even if the girl's the higher earner? Yes. Hey, I wouldn't say he's a horrible negotiator. I would say you have horrible discernment, man. That writing was on the wall. He basically let you know his daughter ain't worth a damn. <laughs> Boy, you stupid as hell, bro. Hey, smart dudes be dumb as hell a lot of times, man. You wanted a prenup. Yeah. And she says, nope, I'm not getting a prenup. And then you said, okay. Yeah, that's true. Why did you agree at that time? I'll find out whether this was the right thing to do or not. <laughs> but a lot of things in my life are still to be played out. And that could be one of the but, most expensive yeah. decisions I ever made in my life. What would you say to your daughter? Assume she you're will getting definitely married. get a prenup. But uh, it's the uh, love of her life. And he yeah. says, I don't want a prenup. I'm not getting married. She will absolutely get a prenup. How was your wife different in that scenario we never dreamed we would be where we're at right now there's four or five billion dollar real estate there's 11 companies that are probably worth three or four billion i never thought ever in my lifetime we would be where we're at mm -hmm. but we are and she has participated and i hope this is never used in a court of law <laughs> <laughs> against me but i mean in a deposition i would have to say yeah dude she participated she's been a phenomenal partner Childbirth, these two guys, without drugs, at home, without us bringing them to yeah, hospital. Impressive. She's a f***ing warrior, yeah. man. All that being said, it still ain't worth half. <laughs> <laughs> now listen, I have told y'all a lot of times, man, there's only one woman in this world that I feel like would have, you know, some type of entitlement to the things that I've built. And that's my baby mama, straight up. You know what I'm saying? Like, she really was in the gym shooting with me, dog. Like, 2 o'clock in the morning, 3 o'clock in the morning, grinding it out with your boy type shit. So, with that being said, yes, it still ain't worth half. <laughs> Straight up, I don't care what nobody see. It ain't worth half. Mom, I love you. An attorney on TikTok encourages all women to get a prenup after soccer player... I'm not going to say his name. It's said to get half of his wife's net worth after she filed for divorce. Oh, this should be interesting. Mm. So if you haven't heard, Moroccan soccer player Hakimi is engaged in this vicious divorce battle with his soon-to-be ex-wife over assets to be distributed right. upon a divorce. The problem is Hakimi took all of his assets and put them in his mama's name. Now, the fact that he did that... The fact that she said it was a problem that he did that, that he put all, the stu all his stuff in his mother's name, is ridiculous. Especially considering everybody knows that men lose their stuff way more often exactly. than women do. But we'll talk on that after. My fault. Now, the fact that he did that, that's a whole nother video. I'm going to give you tips on how to make sure you never end up in this situation. Step one, get a prenup. I've talked about this before. I'm going to talk about it again. And you might be thinking. My bad. This is getting way too long. I'll catch you in part two. So here's the thing, man. This is something that I learned, right? So if you give away your money to someone as a donation, you can do whatever you with your money that you want to do and it's really nothing that can be done about it like if it's marital property bro like if y'all have a joint bank account and there's a hundred grand in there and then all of a sudden your wife takes ninety nine thousand of it and gives it away that's just you 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 screw partner 
Straight up. But the thing is this, he was out there kicking those balls. He was out there scoring goals, training. The woman did nothing. He deserves the money. She doesn't. It's that simple. I hate the way these laws are set up, man. Like, bro, athletes, none of them girls were shooting in the gym with you. I don't care that y'all been together since y'all was 15 years old. Even like Savannah James. I love her to death. I'm not going to lie. I think she's a great beacon of light for women. She wasn't shooting no shots with LeBron. I'm sorry. <laughs> she just got lucky and got with him early before he got famous. She didn't shoot those balls. She didn't score those shots. She didn't win those rings. Sign this prenup here and we can get married. Okay, but is this all your money? Yeah, baby, this is everything. Let's just protect ourselves. Okay, let's get married. Several months later. I don't know where you keep going overseas, but it's taking a toll on us and I want a divorce. Fine, but you're not getting anything because we have a prenup. We'll see about that. Looks like a pretty standard prenuptial agreement to me. Is there anything else? I found out that my husband did not disclose all his assets and money when we signed the prenup. Here's three more bank accounts that he had when he was overseas. Since you did not disclose all your assets oh, in this prenuptial agreement, nigga. I am voiding the prenup. Hey. No! Good thing I follow Gelman lawyers in Toronto. All right, bro, we just learned a valuable lesson, bro. Straight up. If you got money, bro, you got to disclose it all, partner. Because that can get your prenup thrown out. See, if you actually go to a competent attorney and get your prenup drawn up the right way and you're 100 and completely operating out of honesty and you do it in a timely manner, it's going to hold up in the court of law. But when you start having offshore accounts and different accounts that you didn't disclose, they said you're not operating in good faith. The judge going to throw that bitch out every time. Most of the time when you hear prenup being thrown out, the man did something stupid. I'm telling you. Ladies, wherever you at, do not sign that prenup. Nope. Oh, my God. Y'all ain't getting married then. <laughs> at all. Not to you. We're not getting married to you. you but we will have nothing. Well, not mine. That prenup, she what if I'm Why? Gonna, we, if you got the brag, you want to sign up? No, prenup. definitely not. I want to leave with what I came in with. So it's just yeah, like, that's, so I, should not, shouldn't the so, man? So why shouldn't the man leave with I'm not saying that they oh, shouldn't. Yeah. I agree with y'all. Right. We all agree with all the. I said don't sign the prenup, man. Too like if I have, if I make more money, he, I don't want him to sign the prenup either. Oh, that's you and your relationship. Listen, men, men lose way more. Yo, she lying. Everybody, <laughs> listen, she is lying. If I'm rich, is a flat out. All right, all right, fellas, check this out. Never believe a broke woman who says that it doesn't matter if the man has money and she was signed a prenup, she's lying. Because when her feet is to the fire and she got kids and all that kind of stuff, she's gonna try to protect her interests. It's really that simple, dog. I'm not gonna hold y'all. And another thing is this, I don't know why I heard this, but somebody said, women demand prenups from men. Men beg for prenups from women. <laughs> a rich woman is gonna, hey, you signing this prenup, partner. A rich man, baby, you mind you mind signing this little document real quick just in case shit don't work out? <laughs> oh, I also heard that prenups can get like practically like thrown out of court. Is Not that if they done yeah. right. So a lot of people's prenups get thrown out of court because you either had them sign it under duress, that which part. happens the most. What does that what does so, that mean though? Under, under duress, duress means under pressure. So like the weddings today, here's the paper or we ain't getting married. That's the rest. Mm. Like you can't do it. But how does they? How do they prove that in court? If they got Dates. married like five, eight, ten, twenty years. You signed the date, that. nigga. Because you signed the date on it, and you know what the uh, date of the marriage is. Uh, okay. And so those sorts of things. Oh, get you out. That's why they think you're crazy. That, they don't. Um, that no offense. No offense. Because you didn't disclose all your assets. Really? Yeah. So Gotta know that. It's so easy to like, especially if. Um, you're trying to move assets into other entities and that sort of thing. So, like, yeah. So, that's why I tell people, get your affairs in order before you get engaged. Because if you do that, you don't have to disclose. It's just no longer it on, really? on the table. But, like, if you have assets in your name, you get you get engaged and you're in contemplation of marriage, you now have to disclose what you have before you can move Oh, my trust. God. Or it will be like you're hiding the assets really see i don't know that. you gotta go through all of this just to protect the things that you really work your ass off for bro because some entitled woman wants to take it all 
she feel like she wants to be happy. The grass is green on the other side. But you know, as a severance package, she want half of the shit that you work for. And sometimes they get all the shit. Like you can't take half a house. You get the whole house. You can't take half the uh the home. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy, man. Like I love my girl to death, and we talked about this before, bro. Like, bro, like half, <laughs> you know. And she she understood where I was coming from. Real talk, I'm a real nigga, man. I don't I don't get on here and cap, bro. She said that's cool, straight like that, man. We ain't getting divorced, no way. If we do get married. I'll sign whatever you need me to sign type shit. Real talk. I ain't even lying to y'all. But like I said, she was in the gym with me shooting. But bro, like, there's a lot of stuff that I did on my own. Like, especially after that, I'm going to get some money. I hang out with money makers. I read books about money. I watch YouTube videos about money. I'm really, really frugal with my money. And I invest my money, bro. Like, I got stocks. I have real estate. I'm doing the right thing that I'm supposed to be doing. But it's my... I'm in this... I'm in this studio right now making these videos. Taking the income from this YouTube and investing it into real estate and stocks. I'm the one doing that part. Now, when I first got into the real estate, she helped me with that shit. I ain't gonna hold you. She was my secretary. She was my chauffeur when I was riding around 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. She gonna be straight. What do you consider a prenup? Prenups are regularly thrown out oh, God. all the time. They're typically non-enforceable, especially the longer the marriage goes on, the less likely they are to be That's enforced. That's not true. Men get absolutely destroyed in marriage and in divorce. 50% of marriages end in divorce. 80% of divorces are initiated by women. 90% of she's college educated. 90% of child support payments go from men to women. 97% of alimony payments go from men to women. You know, you have no fault to divorce. So a woman can cheat on you. She can still get half your shit. <laughs> oh, first of all, it's 40% of first marriages. So 50%, the 50% thing, you'd have to add people who get serially divorced and you shouldn't marry one of those. So that's not a good argument for not getting married. It's a good argument for not marrying somebody you're going to have to divorce the way to do that make sure she's a conservative goes to church and is a virgin then you're not going to get divorced you'll be fine well good luck with finding one of them nigga we live in america conservative goes to church and shit they might go to church but ain't nothing conservative about them bro the church girls got the they the freaks yeah and he he also forgot to throw out a stat like the more sexual partners a woman has had the most the more likely she is to uh get divorced She's gonna want variety again, partner. It is what it is, straight up. But nah, man, a lot of prenups do get thrown out because men do dumb shit. They don't actually, man, people, man, they had, I think Steven uh, Seagal, I wanna say, wrote a prenup on a napkin. Come on, man, of course that's gonna get thrown out. <laughs> Should you set up a prenup with your partner? A lot of people know Alex actually asked me to sign a prenup. And I was like, sure, I don't care. And then he tore up the prenup before we got married. So he was like, you just didn't even care about signing it. I was like, well, what? I would never want your money that you've made on your own. That makes me, I'm disgusted by that. On the other hand, if you're going into a relationship and you have no assets and no money, and you plan to make it together and share your assets and money, maybe you don't need a prenup. The way I see it is pretty simple. I think people should protect themselves. If you have a lot of money and you're marrying somebody who doesn't, I don't know why you would not get a prenup. I really don't. A lot of people say like, you should do a handshake deal. And if you don't feel like you could do a handshake deal with somebody to deal with them and i'm like i agree with that you should also paper it <laughs> if alex died and then i ever i would one i'd probably never get married again but two if i did get married I would for sure fucking have them sign a prenup you get nothing hey man listen i'm gonna keep it real with y'all women and this is pretty much all of them you know i'm very very uh strict on myself when i say the word all but all women will change bro it is what it is i ain't gonna say they're gonna change for the worst but they're gonna change a lot of things about women change. I know dudes from 20 years ago who are still the exact same person that, that I remember them as. But man, you meet a girl from 20 years ago and you ain't seen her in 20 years, bro. She probably got a whole new identity by now, bro. I ain't even gonna hold you. She said that she would never want his money. Things change, especially a pissed off woman, a woman who felt like she was, uh, you never paid her enough attention, bro. A lot of women will take your shit just to hurt you. They may not even really want it, but if it hurts you, if that's your pressure point, they will use it against you, partner. And they get money in return. It's a win-win. They hurt you and they get richer. It's a win-win. Do not fall for that. I would have let her sign the prenup and just kept it on the tuck. I wouldn't have shredded a motherfucking thing. Would you make her sign a prenup? 
I can't lie to you, when it comes to that prenup stuff and all of that, my finances are going to be secured. No woman has taken 50% no. of nothing I have. Okay, but what if this woman yeah. raises your kids yeah. for 18 years, yeah. she then has nothing to show because she's raised your kids for 18 years, yeah. is she not entitled to anything? She has to sign a prenup. See, that's the trick that a lot of women try to play on a lot of men, right? They say, but what if she raised your kids? Let's be real. School and other people's kids raise our kids for the most part. You got to think about it like this, man. Of course, in the early stages, the mom is spending a lot of time with the kid. Unless she's a career woman, therefore she's handing the kids off to daycare. And then after daycare, they go to elementary, which they are spending at least eight hours a day at school. And if you're a career woman, you coming home and you ain't just completely focused on your kids. Let's not pretend, anybody who has kids, let's be real, bro. You are not spending on a daily basis more than one hour and a half, two hours with your kids, bro. I don't care how good of a parent you are. Those kids are going to go off and do some other shit while you doing the things that you doing. So don't fall victim to that trick, bro. They ain't raising much, bro. Man, especially today, you look about kids are in their iPads at the age of one year old, bro. Ain't much raising going on, bro. And that's like average parents. Let's be real. Do not fall for that, man. I raised our kids for 18. No, you didn't. Shit, 75% of the time that you ever gonna spend with your kid is before age 12. <laughs> After age 12, bro, that's a wrap. <laughs> one thing about prenups is that everybody who gets married has one by default. You either have the one that the state has preset for you or you make your own. So when you make a prenup, all that's doing is giving you the power to outline your expectations, not just in case of a divorce, but it also helps you outline expectations in the marriage. So for example, what if I want to go back to school? Who's paying for things? If I'm not making income, are you taking everything on? If somebody wants to start a new business, what if we have kids and I'm sacrificing not only my body, but what about that gap in my resume that might set me back? How does that compensation work? Not just in financial terms, but like in energetic exchange. Yeah, fellas, in life, man, you want to make sure that you have leverage. It is what it is, right? Business, friendships, all kind of stuff. If you was to start a company with your homeboy right now, there's an, there's this thing called an operating agreement. It outlines the roles of each person in the group. Your partner might be responsible for, you know, fulfilling orders, uh, marketing, that kind of thing. You may be over accounting and whatever else, logistics, whatever, but it clearly defines what y'all roles are. If the business dissolves and y'all are trying to see who gets what, without paperwork in place, it's up to the discretion of a judge. A marriage is no difference. If you don't have the paperwork in place, then the default paperwork takes over and usually is one-sided and it favors the woman. It is what it is. You gotta protect yourself at all times, just like in the ring of boxing. A prenup? Yes, a prenup is the best decision yeah. you Why can you do. A protect yourself. Wow, she's saying a prenup is Why for a divorce, a not for a marriage? Why? Because it's the smartest no. thing you can do. Why do you have this? Because if it doesn't work out, what you're going to take all his stuff. It's a prenup. That's what you do when you get married. Exactly. Prenup agreement. A prenup is for when you get divorced, Slayman, not for when you get married. Wow. It is assuming no, that we're going to get married. That's so wrong. Married in case you get divorced. No, this means that you want us to get a divorce eventually. That Bro, you see how guilty she out. sounds? She clearly wants all his money. You can't trust in any of them. Let's just talk. No, I'm so angry. I cannot believe that you did this. Yes, because you want his stuff. The problem is, Slim, is that you're assuming that we're going to get a divorce. Okay? We this is manipulation. That means it's not that wow. It's an intelligent Say, bro, just be thankful that you presented the prenup and you saw her reaction because that lets you know what it is, man. She worrying about that payoff at the end. Straight up, man, a lot of women go into marriage knowing that they can, they can take all your shit and get a divorce, bro. And she's probably one of those women. And this is a gift and a curse at the same time, bro. You might as well go ahead on and take heed to the warning because she just showed you her true colors, partner. Straight up, man, you banking on us getting a divorce. Nah, this man is smart. He's savvy. And you don't like it because you don't benefit from his wisdom.